Hey, Tom here from Made by Loop, and in this video I'm going to run through my brand new After Effects script called Renderly. Renderly saves you time by streamlining the process of adding your compositions to the render queue. Not only that, it also makes it incredibly easy to render out different sections of the same composition at the same time. So let's jump into After Effects and take a quick look at how it all works. So I've got this very simple composition set up and I have the Renderly script docked here on the side, which I'll run through in a moment. Now let's say I want to render out from zero to six seconds. The usual process for this would be to move the work area bar start time to zero and then set the end time to six. And there's a couple of ways of doing this. We can click and drag the work area ends, or I can set the time here to six and press N on the keyboard to set the end time. Then it's a case of choosing Composition, Add to Render Queue, or I could use the keyboard shortcut to save a bit of time. And this is fine. It's the way I've done things in After Effects since I first started working in the program all those years ago. But let's say we found an issue with the render and we need to do some more work in the comp. This will usually involve changing the work area bar again to only preview a certain section while we're working on it. When it comes time to render out our section from zero to six seconds again, we then have to repeat the whole process of setting the work area bar up for our render. This takes time. And if we're not careful, we could set the wrong start or end time and maybe include a couple of extra frames or cut a couple of frames off at the end. And in that case, we'd have to redo the entire render if we didn't catch it in time. So this is where Renderly comes in. Rather than using the work area bar, Renderly allows you to set render sections through composition markers instead. So to render from zero to six seconds using Renderly, what I need to do is set up a composition marker first. So for this example, I'll keep the marker start time to zero and set the end to six seconds. And I'll click create marker. Instantly, you can see that we now have this marker region here in the composition, and it's labeled render section. So now if I want to send this to the render queue, I'll hit the top button here, and in an instant, this has now been queued up for me. So what this does is it frees up the work area bar entirely. I can come back into my comp and preview whichever section I like, and because the render section is still here and it doesn't move, I can just click the top button again and it'll add from zero to six seconds to the queue. I don't have to worry about changing anything. So that's one useful feature of Renderly, but perhaps my favorite feature of the script is that you can have as many of these different render sections as you like. So if I just empty the queue and come back into my comp, I could add a new section from seven to 10 seconds, for example. So I'll add the marker in the same way as before, And now when I click the Add Markers to Queue button, you can see that we have two separate render queue items all ready to go. This is incredibly useful if you need to split the renders of a composition up. Maybe you want to separate an outro, for example, or you want to create a looping section to turn into a GIF. You don't need to worry about creating new comps or editing the video after it's rendered anymore. You can just set up as many render sections as you need and then add them to the queue in an instant. So there we have it. That's a brief look at how the Renderly script works. You can read more about it via the link in the description. And if you like this video, do hit like and subscribe and check out madebyloop.co.uk for more time-saving motion design resources.